So you're broke, but you want to get funded with large prop firm accounts like $100,000 or even 300k accounts so they can eventually make at least $10,000 per month from trading. In this video, I'm going to help you get there. But first, I need you to stop spending your hard-earned money on large account challenges. How many times have you bought a challenge with your monthly salary and then ended up failing in the phase one of the challenge? Listen, I'm going to show you a much better way to get your first big funded account without spending a lot of money. So if your goal is to get funded with 100k on FTMO or my Forex funds or any other prop firms out there, but you don't have a lot of money to start to spend on, right? I will show you the exact step-by-step -step guide to turn $49 into $300,000. The first step is to develop your winning trading plan. So to become a successful trader, all you have to do is to find a system, the strategy, the setups that work and get rid of all the other trading setups that do not work. So I need you to find a strategy that fits your trading style and your personality, right? Everyone is different. What works for me might not work for you because we have different personalities. We have different trading style. You might be a more aggressive guy who likes to look at charts all day. In that case, scalping is for you. But if you are like me, more calm and relaxed guy who gets stressed by looking at these candlesticks every single day, you might be more suitable for swing trading. So at the end of the day, this takes a lot of experimentation. You need to experiment with scalping, intraday trading, and swing trading, and find out which trading style suits you the most, and then choose and follow that trading style. Next, you need to have a win rate combined with a solid risk to reward ratio that will make you profitable over a series of trades not just one trade. A lot of traders think that all they have to do is to make a lot of money on one trade. Wrong. You need to make money consistently over the span of a few trades. So most successful traders, they have a win rate about 50%, all right? This is the average win rate of a successful trader. All the best traders I know, all the best traders you know, the average win rate is 50%, which means they win five out of the 10 trades that they took. Right, out of 10 trades they take, they win five, which means they win half of the trades that they take, right? So in this case, if you want to become a profitable trader, you need to aim for a higher risk to reward ratio. At least you need to have a one is to two risk to reward ratio, at least, all right? If you have a one is two risk to reward ratio and you have a 50% win rate, guess what? This can make you profitable. So here's an example. Let's say that you are trading a $100,000 funded account, right? So 100K funded account, and you are risking 1% on each trade. So 1% will be $1,000, right? So your risk is $1,000. So your reward, which is two, is two times of your risk. So your reward will be $2,000, okay? So every time you lose, you lose $1,000. But every time you win, you win $2,000. So with this in mind, same thing, you have a 50% win rate, which means you win 5 out of 10 trades, right? So let's say you lose 5 trades and you win 5 trades. So every time you lose, you lose $1,000. But every time you win, you win $2,000. So let's calculate the net profit. So this is about $5,000. So you lose $5,000, right? But when you win, you made a total about $10,000. Pardon my ugly handwriting, please, but I'm just trying to get the point across. So after 10 trades, you made a total of $5,000. Even though you lose half of the trades, that is why in trading, you do not need to be correct. You do not need to be right all the time. You just need a solid win rate combined with a solid risk to reward ratio and that is really like the key to risk management. So I'll advise you to aim for one is to two at least, all right? But you should always, always aim for one is to three risk to reward ratio. This is my absolute favorite figure. My favorite risk to reward ratio, one is three. That is how I trade. So all in all, you need to find a winning trading strategy and then backtest the trading strategy and document the win rate and the average risk to reward ratio over the span of 40 to 50 trades. After backtesting it, you should forward test it. So backtesting is to learn about the strategy. Forward testing or demo trading or paper trading, whatever you like to call it, is 
to learn about whether you can trade this strategy over the next 30 days. So I'll advise you to do this with a FPMO free trial, which brings me to the next point, the next step. So the next step is to use the FTMO free trial as a training ground to help you ensure that you are ready for the live funded account challenges. So when you are trading this FTMO free trial account, you must execute the trade whenever you see confluences every single time without any hesitation. Which means that you need to follow your winning trading plan religiously day in and day out. So once you learn about this strategy, you will be able to find out the trade setups that work and those that do not work. And I want you to take note of those trades that work and put it inside your winning trading plan. And then from now on, you should only be taking the trade setups that is from your winning trading plan. So now I want to show you an intraday strategy that I use to pass many of my funded challenges and it is purely based on simple price action. So this is a trade that I took recently which played out really, really well. So this is what I like to call the A setup. Alright, so right now, before I do anything, I always make sure I do my top-down analysis, which means to analyze the charts from the higher time frame. Because remember, the higher time frame is king, right? Price moves much more heavily on the higher time frame. So you should always make sure you focus and prioritize the higher time frame. So right now we're in the daily time frame and we see that price has literally came back down to retest this area right here. This strong support area that we have drawn. Previously, it was a resistance area, but now it has broke through it, come back down to retest it, and now it has become your support area. So the moment price retested this support area, I'm going to be looking for my entry, all right? So that's when I'll go down to the 4-hour time frame to look for more of my confidences. And I can see there is a double bottom being formed right here. One, two double bottom being formed right here. So that's my first confluence for me to enter for the trade, right? And in this case, I can also use my moving average, my 8 and 14 EMA, right? So at some point of time, somewhere right around here, I will have entered for my buy position when I see the moving average cross over. So my first confluence would be this double bottom being formed right here. My second confluence would be this moving average cross over. So my third confluence could be some sort of candlestick patterns, which I like to look for in the one hour time frame. So once I'm at the one hour time frame, I see that somewhere right around this area where the moving average has crossed over, price gave me this gigantic, huge, bullish engulfing candlestick, which shows there's a lot of momentum, a lot of buying pressure pushing the price up. So at this point of time, I got my three confluence, I will enter for a buy right here. So in this case, I'm going to be placing my stop loss below this last higher low right here and go to my 4 hour time frame, you can see this is the last higher low, right? So I'm going to be placing my stop loss below it. And for my take profit, ideally I want to take profit at the next key level. And if I zoom up to the daily time frame, I see that my next key level will be right here, right? There's a key level right here. Okay, this is the next key level. And then the next key level after this key level is this one that we have right here, this 2060, this ultimately strong key level, right? So these two are the key levels that I'm going to be looking to take profit. Right, so I can either take profit right here at this key level or even take profit all the way up here. And I'm going to be placing my take profit all the way up here because I know that price has already been making like a very nice steady uptrend. Price has already created market structure, higher highs, higher lows. Now, most likely it's going to get pushed up to the next major key level, which is all the way up here. And in this case, you can even draw like a Fibonacci from here you here point a point b and you can see price retrace to the 61.8 level and it's about to launch up to the negative 27 extension somewhere right around here or even all the way up here at this midpoint between the negative 27 and the negative 61.8 level so in this case this is how i'll just hold a trade i end up holding this trade for like quite long i believe it was quite long and i'm holding a trade for it was, was it one month? I forgot how long it was, but it was pretty damn long. So this was more of like a swing trade, right? So I ended up holding the trade and we can see price ultimately went up to smash out take profit. And this was like a 2,000 pips trade, right? 2,000 pips trade. So this is more of a swing trade already, right? This is past an intraday trade. But if you wanted to make this an intraday trade, you know, get in and out within the day, what I could have done over here is that instead of taking profit all the way up there, I would have entered right here. I would have entered somewhere right around here, right? And then just get up at the next key level, which could be right here. This next nice resistance area right here. This is where I would have gotten out. Or I would have 
even entered for a buy like somewhere right around here where price gave my multiple confluence and take profit at the next key level which could be right here right the next key level right here this mini resistance area that we have right here right so depending on the trading style like i said just now whether you're scalper intraday trader or swing trader this strategy is going to work like differently so you have to always make sure you adapt and find out what works best for you right so in this case if i'm choosing a more intraday approach i'm going to be going down to like this 15 minute time frame to look for my entry go down 15 minute time frame look for my entry and i see the price has been consolidating at this resist, uh, support area right here i'm waiting for some sort of break of structure so to speak you can see price consolidating and over here price broke out of this consolidation coming down to retest this consolidation and gave us this huge bullish engulfing candlestick so the moment price broke out coming down retest it and go back up right there's a break of structure and i could easily enter for buy right here also got my moving average crossover and just take a quick scalp all the way up to this area that we have right here something like this right this will be more of an intraday trade for those people who like really really want to intraday trade during the FTMO challenge so like i said this is all just based on pure simple price action nothing too complicated right and i showed you two examples one is an intraday trade and one is a swing trade and since these trade setups work i'm going to put these trade setups into my winning trading plan so the next time i see any of these trade setup i'm going to be executing the trade without any hesitation because i know for a fact that they are going to work so the next step is to buy a 5k or two 5k funded account challenges from my forex funds listen if you cannot pass the fdmo free trial you won't be able to pass the paid challenges from my forex funds so there's no point jumping straight to getting a funded account from my forex funds when you can't even pass the fdmo free trial so after you buy a 5k funded account challenge from my forex funds use and follow the winning trading plan like what you have done for the FTMO free trial and take trade setups that work. And then once you have passed the challenge and you have made some profits from the payouts, use the profits to buy 150k funded challenge account. And then just repeat the same process. Use the payout that you earn from your 50k funded account to buy either a 100k account or even a 200k account or even a 300k challenge so the whole point here is to start with 49 dollars to get your first small little funded 5k account and then everything you make after that is just pure profit that you are earning based on your skill level and just think about it if you lose 49 dollars you probably won't sweat because that's the price of eating out at a nice restaurant or it's even cheaper than your gym membership and scaling from a 5k to a 50k to a 300k account is much more easier on the psychology and you will give yourself time to improve your trading performance at the same time now before you start doing this you must understand two core important principles number one is to focus on the process not the money i know i talk about this a lot of time but this point is really really goddamn important you need to be patient and remember that at each stage you are learning you are improving you are literally building confidence in your ability to trade you are becoming a master at trading and learning how to manage prop firm accounts properly correctly and once you learn how to manage these accounts correctly the sky is your limit you'll be able to stack accounts on top of each other and then if you can do this consistently correctly you will potentially be making one hundred thousand dollars a month from trading so let's say that you are making five percent monthly from your funded account so on a five thousand dollars account and you make five percent that will be a profit of $250 right small amount of money but if you think about it you get your 50k account so you get a 50k account and you make 5% that will be $2,500 on your account and then eventually you keep on scaling up and you're trading a 300k account and 5% of 300k will be $15,000 guys $15,000 when you finally make 15k from your funded account you'll be glad that you were disciplined enough to follow your trading plan and put in the work to develop your confidence and mental toughness to trade the larger accounts 
Trust me guys, it's coming. Just continue to put in the work and remember, I'm rooting for you. And if you keep going and scale up, one day you'll be managing $1 million in funding. And if you make just 10% of that, that will literally be $100,000 in one month. 100 k in profit in one month. That's absolutely bonkers, mate. Next, I'm going to briefly explain how I trade during each phase. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, right? The risk management behind it. Risk management is really the key when it comes to getting funded by prop firms. So for those people who are still watching this, this is my secret for you. So for phase one, this is your first phase and this is what we call the evaluation phase, right? In this phase, you need to get like a profit target of about 8%. So this is the phase where I'll go a little bit more aggressive, which means I'll risk about 2% to 3% on each trade, right? On each trade that I took, I'm going to be risking about 2 to 3%, right? I'm going to be going a little bit more aggressive on the phase one because you have a higher profit target. Now for phase two, this is where is the establishment phase. It's the phase where they know that you can trade, but they really want to confirm that you are able to do this for the long term, right? For the long run, you are able to become a consistently profitable trader, not just for one month, but for two months, three months, four months, five months. So for the establishment phase, the target is about 5%, right? You have to reach about 5% in like one month, right? During this entire phase. So in this case, you can chew a bit. That's how I like to do it. Cause it's literally 5%, right? 5%. So you can reach about 1% to 1.5% on each trade, right? Oh, that's how much I'll be risking during phase two. About 1% to 1.5% on each trade. And then phase three is when you can finally unlock your funded account. You can finally actually get like a funded account, a, like, like a live funded account, not just some demo funded account in your evaluation and your establishment phase, right? So for phase three, when I get my funded account, I'm going to be risking about 0.5% per trade, all right? Why am I risking only 0.5%? So that I can get my first withdrawal and my refund for the challenge that I paid. Right, once I do this, I have like a safety net and all the other money that I earn from this account is just pure profit, right? It's just pure profit. So your first goal should be to get your first withdrawal and get your refund for the challenge so that you can like risk free, so that you're risk free right now. And all the other profits that you earn from this account from now on is just pure profit. And with this, it will really help with your psychology because now you know that, okay, none of my hard earned money is on the line. Everything that I'm going to earn from now on is just pure profit. If you want to find out exactly how I trade and my winning trading strategies that will definitely help you get funded, you can consider checking out the Trading Blueprint course. Link in the description. And smash on the like button if this video have helped you guys out and hit on the subscribe button because we are posting useful trading videos like this every single week. All right, so hit on that subscribe button, baby. What are you waiting for? And if you want to learn more about getting funded, this video is for you. Watch this video next. And remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.